Yeah, Pola, ¿cómo estáis? Hoy he visto un vídeo mmm, que me ha hecho pensar muchísimo y nada, quería explicaros qué es lo que me ha hecho sentir y cómo, cómo lo he vivido. Es decir, eh, en esta vida eh, todos necesitamos ayuda, todos tenemos una carencia u otra. Eh, en algún momento de la vida pasaremos por un momento donde tendremos una lesión más o menos importante, donde tendremos alguna carencia física, donde tendremos alguna carencia emocional, donde tendremos alguna carencia psíquica. Desde que somos pequeños necesitamos ayuda para hacer las cosas. Muchas veces no somos conscientes de que esa ayuda la necesitamos y que tenemos que, que, que pedirla. Muchas veces pensamos que somos superhombres y que podremos con todo y eso no es así. Hoy quiero presentaros a Kayla Montgomery, esta chica que el país a flipar. Os voy a dejar aquí un fragmento del vídeo, pero antes quería explicaros eh, la importancia que tiene para mí saber pedir ayuda en un momento determinado. Es decir, yo creo que pedir ayuda no es de débiles, pedir ayuda es de valientes, es saber que solos eh, podemos conseguir solo la mitad de las cosas que podemos conseguir en equipo y para eso lo que quería era mostraros este vídeo que yo creo que de alguna manera os podrá explicar mucho mejor lo que yo intento transmitiros con palabras. Os daréis cuenta de lo que ha conseguido Keila eh, con la ayuda de su familia y de su entrenador, algo que le habían dicho que sería imposible. Pues no, a veces las cosas no son imposibles, otras veces son más complicadas y difíciles. Ella confía ciegamente en su entrenador, él la protege de no caer directamente de, de morros contra el suelo, él la sujeta, él la, la lleva, él la anima, su familia por muy doloroso que sea para ellos la ayudan y la apoyan y están allí para lo que haga falta. Él la ayuda a seguir viviendo la vida como ella quiere, corriendo hasta el día que a lo mejor no pueda correr más, pero siempre le quedará el consuelo que mientras ha estado corriendo, mientras ha estado viviendo, mientras ha tenido la posibilidad, lo ha dado absolutamente todo. Os dejo con este vídeo de Keila, espero que os mencione tanto, tanto como a mí. Yo lo he resumido en 5 minutos, es un vídeo que dura unos 12 minutos. Os dejo el enlace en la descripción porque creo que vale muchísimo la pena verlo entero. Disfrutarlo mucho y lo que os digo siempre, a disfrutar que son dos días y nos vemos en el próximo vídeo playing on a select travel team in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and was about to begin her freshman year at Mount Tabor High School when she first noticed something was wrong. I'd fallen in a soccer game, and um, that evening I started to like notice a tingling sensation in my toes. It's like, Mom, I can't feel my feet. There's this weird shock going on. I don't know what's up. Doctor visits and MRIs soon followed. In October 2010, the doctor called with the diagnosis. And when he said that he, <clears throat> when he said that Kayla had MS, I, um, I honestly lost my breath. It made me literally sick to my stomach. Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is a disease where the body's immune system attacks its own nerve cells. Essentially, the brain's communication with the spinal cord and other parts of the body short circuits. There is no cure. I just cried a lot. And, um, I didn't let anybody in my room. I was just, I wanted to be alone. And I was mad. I was, uh, really mad. I couldn't see why something like this would happen to me. I, I didn't, I couldn't think of anything I'd done wrong. Like, why should I be punished? Why was this happening? For eight agonizing months, Kayla lacked all feeling in her legs. With the help of medication, slowly the feeling began to return. She had to give up soccer, a contact sport, and instead turn to running, and to a coach who believed she could still compete, even with MS. She said, I want to run. I want to run fast, and I don't want you to hold back. I told him I wasn't really guaranteed the next uh, couple of years of running, and I wanted to make the most out of every day I could, and I wanted somebody to hold me accountable. What do you feel? Nothing. <laughs> it usually starts like in my toes and works its way up to my waist. It just stays like that throughout the rest of the run or race. For Kayla, as with many MS patients, heat is a trigger that causes her symptoms to return temporarily. 
As her body temperature rises during a run, the feeling in her legs begins to deaden. It's just a, a very strange feeling, um, or lack thereof, to know that your legs are moving, but not be able to tell how fast or tell where or, I guess, anything about them. You don't know what's going on. You just know what's happening. Then, becoming one of the fastest girls in all of North Carolina. The whole time, she had one voice pushing her. You gotta get on the train! Go to the arms, Kayla, go to the arms! Go up to the front! Put your shoulder on hers! He's like a dad. Um, a goofy, dorky dad. Good job, kiddo. Photobomb. And he, he pushes me. And um, I trust him with my life. And nowhere is that trust more evident than when Kayla crosses the finish line. Because she has lost the sensation in her legs, she's unable to come to a coordinated stop. Help me! I got you. Oh my gosh. Please. I got you. That was beautiful. I'm so hot. That was beautiful, girl. Help me. Good job. Please. That was beautiful. Please help me. She needs help because she's somewhat helpless there for a few minutes. Please, water. Water, please. I want to get cool as fast as possible so I can feel my legs. As time goes on, I'll just get back up. As her body temperature returns to normal, her MS symptoms gradually subside. The episode causes no permanent damage. For Kayla, this is the cost of competing, and she's willing to pay it. Hey. I got you. Oh, me. I got you. Oh, me. I got you. Oh, my God. I got you. Please. I need... Shh. I need... It's okay. I need... I got it. I need water. So badly. Somebody. Somebody, please. Help me. I got you right here. They got water for you. She just needs some water. Please. Where's the ice? Please, I need ice. To beat it. To outrun it. To know you got every movement out of those legs while you still can. That's why she's running. Friends now. Okay. So I just hope to run as long as I can and to make the most out of it as long as I can. When or if I'm not able to run at some point down the road, then at least I can look back and know that when I could, I gave it my all.